Hello, you guys. Welcome back to Planet Him. So today, you guys, we are going to be checking out the Cleo Induced Original Creep Production dolls. Yeah. Yeah, we're finally getting those Creep Productions. We're getting closer and closer to that time. Now, I did pick these up from the Paul Mart store. They're no longer in stock, but Cleo Deuce, Abby, Spectra, and Gulia will be available on Amazon on April 1st. That, that's what the girls are saying, okay? That's what the streets are saying. April 1st, you will be able to get these on Amazon. And best believe I'm getting a few of each. Ooh, not a few of each. Yeah. I'm definitely so excited to get into this video and show you guys the Creep Productions. But before we do that, it's still Black History Month. You know what I'm saying? So why not support a Black creator? You know, just give me a little like, a little comment, a little subscribe, you know? Just be a part of the family. Because, I mean... Why wouldn't you want to be? This is the place to be. <laughs> also, make sure you guys go follow my Instagram and my TikTok. Links are down in the description. All right, now that we have all that out the way, let's go ahead and get into our booze. Or our... Can... He can be a boo, right? Yeah, they can be... They can be booze. They can both be booze. Yeah, let's get into the video. Yo, they just look so good in the box. I almost don't even, like, want to remove them. They just look so, so good. And very, very similar to the original releases. Like, these are spot on for sure. And I feel like I got pretty good faces as well. Yeah, I definitely got pretty good faces. I've never owned these dolls and I've never had their pets either. So it's just so cool having this. And then like, they have diaries. Like, I, I miss the good old days. I miss the good old days. Like the fact that they have diaries and, and stands, like, ugh. It's just so nostalgic. Like, it'd be so cool to like be experiencing these. I'm really so excited for Abby, Spectra, and Gulia to drop too because I, especially Abby, Abby's probably like one of my favorite Monster High dolls of all time. So I'm so, so excited for her. But yeah, I think we're gonna go ahead and start opening these up. Definitely gonna be keeping this box though. For sure, like I have to keep the box. I really do miss the cardboard boxes from G1. Imagine if we got the cardboard boxes with G3. Uh, the G3 boxes are fine. Like they're just definitely not as like detailed as these. You know what I'm saying? And looking at the little icons and stuff that are on here, a lot of them are inspired by the others that are in this specific line. Like you got Abby, you got some um, some up in there for Gulia and spectra so it's actually really really cool i wonder if it was like that for g like like i wonder if it was like that for the originals too i wonder if they had these same icons they probably did they probably did considering these are creep productions like i, I would assume that it would be the same you know like there's like so much to look at on these boxes I almost don't want to take these out but like i know i'll be able to get more so that's why i'm like i will unbox them and i almost just it feels like illegal you're <laughs> moving these from the box but we're gonna go ahead and do it i'm over here like sitting down unboxing them um kind of sitting down watching tv doing it because i like wanted to like sit down and really relax you know really get the experience you know of unboxing these and I'm just having so much fun just like looking at them in here. Ooh, let me stop. Ooh, let me stop shaking. I'm a little excited, huh? But yeah, here they go. They just look so good. And it's just oh, the, the stands, the diaries, the stands, the diaries. The good old days. The good old days. I cannot wait to get the rest of these creep productions. And I hope they continue the line because I would really love to get Nefra. Oh my gosh, the fact that we're getting that Cleo and Nefra two pack nasty i'm excited i'm excited and like the fact that i have og cleo now like it's a win it's a win it's a win but okay y'all i'm gonna probably go finish unboxing these get a last little look at them right here right here i just love this headband on cleo like it's so tiny but like it's just such a beautiful piece at the same time Yes. here's what the back looks like if y'all were curious i don't know if y'all really care but yeah i never realized like i never thought that this would feel like this like this like black part right here 
it's kind of interesting because i just never expected it to feel like this i did have like the 2016 reproduction of cleo but yeah this is my first time having like the the more detailed version but um i definitely did not expect this to feel like this i'm over trying so hard not to break the little ties and everything because i just want to leave the per the box like in good condition so but i'm definitely going to be buying like if i buy a second set of them eventually i'll probably just throw this box away yeah okay i'm gonna finish um unboxing her not there's a, t a thing on her neck right here i can't remember if the other creep productions i opened had one of these it's kind of interesting i just wonder when did they decide to include a neck thing okay you guys so here we are with them outside of the box now before we go ahead and get into the review and actually check out the dolls let's just get into all the accessories and stuff real quick each of them do come with stands i really miss these stands i really really wish we got stands in g3 here goes their pets right here so you have his set and then you have perseus i think his name is yeah, they look pretty similar to the OGs. Again, I don't have them, but from the looks of it, they look pretty similar, especially his set. Um, I think his set's actually really, really cute, but I do think I like the G3 his set more. Um, yeah, and then Perseus, I think he looks pretty exact as well. So the only thing I noticed is I think in the OG pack, Perseus had a little black glove. Like he, like his hand right here was like painted black because he's like wearing a glove and on here it's not. So that's probably like the only thing I could really say out of this whole pack that I've noticed that's been like different. I don't know. Looking at these, I don't really see too much of a difference, but then again, I don't have the old doll. So I don't really know. Then you have this bag, just really, really cute. Has little paint details on it. Then you have the iconic Monster High brush. And then they also come with their diaries. Now they do have two languages right here on the front of them. So right here it says for royal eyes only. It says Cleo Denial. And then here goes Deuce, it says Deuce Gorgon. And this says, keep your eyes off my journal or you'll spend the rest of your life as a lawn ornament. <laughs> okay, Deuce, period. Child, not the lawn ornament. Okay, so now that we have all the accessories and stuff out the way, we can finally go ahead and get into them. Okay, y'all, so starting off with Deuce, he's actually really, really cute. So I'm really, really loving the screening. Like, I really like his eyes, even like the snakes. I like how G1 Deuce, like his snakes have some type of some type of color change to them. Because you got like, this yellowish green down here, and it kind of gets darker as it goes up. I kind of like that. Yeah, he's really cute, and I also love his little earring right here. Just so adorable. He also rocks a pair of red shades. That's what they look like on him. I kind of like that you can kind of like see his eyes through there when he has them on. To his outfit, I'm not gonna lie, I really, really love this outfit. Okay, so starting off with this shirt. <laughs> I really like this shirt, especially because you know how G3 Deuce has like a snake on his shirt? I'm glad they didn't do something like that. Cause sometimes you can do stuff like that and it looks cute, you know, like G3 Abby, like she has a snowflake on her shirt, like, like Torilai having a cat on her shirt. Like, I don't know, I just really appreciate that. Like he, he has something different going on with his shirt. It definitely gives it more personality. He is wearing a little necklace up here and he is wearing this belt that actually has a bunch of little paint details all over it. Yeah, I really like the fabrics used here. Like all of these fabrics feel really nice. He does wear this vest and this vest is probably one of my favorite pieces. I love the fact that it's like two different fabrics on each side. It's just so detailed. It's just so detailed. I really like this little ribbon material kind of coming down the sides. Even this material down here, like there's just so many different fabrics going on. You even have this little black fabric glove. And yes, this deuce does have wrist articulation. I heard that the original deuce didn't have wrist articulation. So yeah, this one definitely does. He even has his little scales. He also does have this little bracelet right here with this little skelet on it. I really like his pants too. His pants are really cute actually. I actually really, I, no, why, why am I feeling Deuce like this? Like, why have I never known that he was just this cool? Like, I don't know, I was never really getting into his doll like that. Down to his shoes, I love these. So they're basically almost like little vans, pretty much. Have little studs going across the front, black and white little checkered board print on the top. And you even have like this silver stuff on the side. Is there anything on the bottom of his shoes? There's like little stars all over them. Yeah, I really like his doll. I really do. I really, really like his doll. My very first deuce was actually a G3 deuce. I do have all the G3 deuces at the moment. 
but I did have the chance to get the Holiday Deuce. He's pretty cool, but I definitely think this, I like this one a lot better. Like, I actually really love him, especially since she is an OG. Like, I don't know, I just, I don't know. I just, I'm really feeling him. I'm really feeling him. Probably one of my favorite Monster High boys, to be honest. Hey, you guys, so here we are with Cleo, and honestly, she looks really, really good. Having her is honestly so surreal, because Cleo and Claudine have literally always been my favorite characters. Starting off with her hair, this is where her hair is looking like. About the same as it used to be, except I think now she doesn't have as much tinsel as she used to, but there's definitely still some up in there, and she does have the black and brown hair, and it is Saran. I'm honestly obsessed with her little headband. Like I know that it's super small, but like it got the like metallic gold going on, then a little blue details on there. It just looks real expensive. The screening on her is really, really nice as well. Here's what she looks like up under the bangs. I really, really love the red lip and the makeup is just like so, so good. They definitely ate it up with the faces for sure. She does have her gold dangly earrings. And then down to this like iconic outfit. Like this is just a legendary look for Cleo. So she's wearing kind of like, I don't know what you would call this, but it's like this blue top. Right up here is made with like this sparkly fabric. And then right here you kind of have like this net material. And then this, I don't know exactly what it is. It almost feels like little like tiny wires or something. Like it kind of feels hard. And I definitely did not expect it to feel like that. But I do love how they lined it with this material. It also kind of gives this like top some shape as well. She is wearing her mummy wraps in different spots. So she does have it around her neck. I mean, I'm sure you guys know what these dolls look like, but I just want to give you guys the real close-up details on them. She obviously has the bodysuit. I just think it's so impressive that they were able to give us give us all the same quality and details from like years ago. Cause this fabric that they use for these dolls are honestly really nice. Especially if like you're comparing this doll to like say the G3 Cleo over there, her dress isn't the best fabric, but she's still obviously a really pretty doll. But she also is wearing her gold belt, her gold armband and her little bracelet right here. She also does have her little phone. Now, honestly, you guys, I didn't know if the phone ever came out. Like, I know I own the Clio reproduction. I lost the whole phone and phone holder as soon as I got her. I never really got to experience it, you know? But yes, the phone is removable. I won't take it out because it's connected in there by a rubber band and I don't want to lose it. So we're going to keep it in there, but it definitely does come out and she can like hold it. Okay, and now we're down to the iconic shoes. Like, it's kind of interesting the color that they are. Like, I know this is the color that they've always been, but it's kind of interesting the color that they went with considering, like, the color of her mummy wraps and everything. It's just a very different, like, gold from what she has on a, going on in the rest of her outfit. It's even more like a yellow, kind of. But they're really, really cute. They have a little gold-painted studs, the black wedge. The soles of her shoes are kind of like this cream color. And then you have this kind of like yellowish gold for the mummy wrap part of her shoes. Honestly, you guys, I feel like these are very faithful reproductions. Like, I think they honestly did a really, really good job with these. Okay, so since I don't have the original dolls, I figured I would at least bring the G3 dolls to do a comparison to. Now this obviously isn't G3 Deuce's um, basic core doll. And honestly, this is probably my least favorite G3 Deuce doll. I don't really, he's okay. He's not horrible or anything. He's just not my favorite. I definitely prefer his basic doll a lot more. Even his ghoul spirit doll is really good. But yeah, I figured out to bring these so we can just do a little comparison with them. Starting off with Deuce really quickly. Obviously Deuce is green now, which I, I feel like is cool because it definitely makes him seem more like a monster. A lot of people complain that he just kind of looks like a human with snakes or whatever, but I don't know. I don't know. Like I, I do like both of them, especially this Deuce because I just think he's amazing actually. But I also really do like the green skin for Deuce. I don't too much mind it at all. I do wish G3 Deuce had more detailed snakes like this one. Because right here is just one big piece of plastic that's all the same color. So I don't know. I kind of wish there was some like color to his snakes. But 
it is what it is. I would say G3 Deuce is probably just a little bit more buff than the other Deuce. Also, he doesn't have the scales on here. It would have been so cute if they would have gave him the scales. Like the G1 doll. I think that's such a cute detail. And I don't understand why they didn't give it to him. Now, obviously, like as far as the outfit and everything, I feel like for the most part, G1 Deuce is definitely winning this battle right here. Okay, so now here we are with the Cleos. I've been waiting waiting to get g1 cleo just so i can have them both and like admire them together but okay so there's different things like like i love both of them for different reasons like they both are really really good dolls this cleo is obviously just so nostalgic and just takes me back to like my childhood like just i don't know it's just so iconic and nostalgic to me i really love her i definitely feel like her outfit quality is better like i like the fabric used here a lot more than the fabric that they used for her outfit and even with the shoes, I think I prefer these ones over these ones. These ones definitely aren't bad. I just I just like these ones a lot more. This Cleo has Saran. This one has Polly. However, there is a Saran variant. And I, I'm looking for you. Okay, I'm looking for you. Because as soon as I get that Saran variant, all my G3 basics have Saran. So period, period. Definitely going to be keeping my eye out for a Saran Cleo. But overall, though, I definitely think I like the G3 body more. Like the G, the new bodies for the new Monster High are just everything. Like I love holding, especially like the curvier dolls, like Abby and stuff. Cause like, I don't know, they just feel so sturdy and just, I don't know. I don't know, I just really, really love the new bodies a lot. So I think as far as the body and base doll, I'm definitely going G3 Cleo for sure. But the outfit, I definitely think this one is the win for sure. Don't, don't get me wrong though. My girl eight, she definitely did. I really love how they both kind of have like that dead eye kind of look. Like you see this Cleo kind of has like this like blue in her eyes. And then this Cleo kind of has like a gray eye going on. I don't know. I just kind of like the dead eye look. It's just so cute. But I definitely think I like Cleo screening here a lot more. I definitely think I would have preferred bangs on this Cleo, but I mean, it kind of just is what it is, I guess. Also love the fact that they both come with phones. You want Cleo is the only basic doll that actually came with her phone. But I definitely kind of wished the little phone holder thing would have came back. I wonder if that would have worked for her. I, don't know, I just I just think that would have been a really cute thing to like bring back in G3. You guys, well, that brings us to the end of this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Please know, let me know how you guys feel about these creep productions. If you guys are going to be getting them, I definitely would. If you definitely been wanting these, I would definitely recommend going ahead and snatching them up because if you don't go ahead and get them when they release, when they're $50, you're going to have to go pay those scalper prices. And I'm sure, especially once these sell out and they're not being sold on Amazon anymore, I'm sure they're going to be selling for about the same prices as the originals once they hit eBay and stuff. I'll definitely say go ahead and snatch them up while you can. And I cannot wait for Abby, Gulia, and Spectra. Like, I can, I've never got the chance to have any of them, so I'm really, really excited for them. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please make sure you guys like, comment, and subscribe to support. Also, make sure you guys go follow my Instagram and my TikTok. Links are down in the description. Make sure you guys are always being yourself and staying true to who you are because you are yourself that at least. Peace, y'all.